Hello, I'm Brian Whitaker. I'm a product marketing engineer here at Keysight. In this video, we will explore how to select the correct DC power supply for your application. Let's start off by looking at bench versus AT power supplies. Bench power supplies have large legible displays and a user interface, so you can easily control all the aspects of the power supply from the front panel. In addition, the output terminals are easily accessible from the front. On the other hand, ATE power supplies are designed to be in a rack to be part of an automated test equipment system. One thing to consider in purchasing an AT power supply is the greater the power density of the AT solution, the less rack space it consumes. This can reduce the amount of factory floor space used by test equipment. It is critical to select a supply that provides the right amount of power to meet your application needs. Keysight offers low, medium, and high power solutions from a few watts to hundreds of kilowatts. When selecting a DC power supply, it is also important to pick one that meets the noise requirements of your application. Some devices, such as audio amplifiers, are representative of noise-sensitive applications. So, they require very low noise and ripple from a power source, as this can introduce test challenges and errors in your results. Programming accuracy is also an important characteristic for demanding applications, where very precise settings of voltage and current levels are required. Modern DC power supplies are optimized for application-specific testing and analysis for today's devices. For example, measuring parameters such as an IoT device's dynamic current draw to easily analyze battery drain is an important capability that Keysight can provide. Another characteristic to consider is the command processing and output response time of the DC power supply. Command processing time is how quickly the DC power supply can execute a command and the output response time is how long it takes for the voltage to transition and settle to the program setting. These characteristics determine power supply speed and can significantly affect throughput on a factory line. Next, do you have an application that uses multiple voltage rails and have a need to turn the rails on and off in a certain sequence? If so, it is important to consider a multi-output DC power supply that provides built-in sequencing capability that allows you to precisely control when the outputs turn on and off. Also, do your test requirements vary in terms of the power required, accuracy, or other factors? If so, you should consider using a modular DC power supply. Modular DC power supplies offer you the opportunity to mix and match power levels and performance levels with a single mainframe. You can even integrate electronic loads. One last consideration I would like to mention is if software is applicable for your application. Software can be used to control instruments, automate tests, and perform in-depth analysis. Keysight offers a range of software solutions for our DC power supply portfolio to meet your application needs. For more information and insight on picking the correct DC power supply, please click on the Keysight DC Power Product Selection Guide.